This is why Einstein was like, no. Yeah, no. Because it's so outrageously uh, arrogant for us to think. To think that we, we could we, measure we can, that. We can measure a disturbance at a degree that is so small uh, and be yeah. able to, and make it verifiable. Yeah. Rainer Weiss goes to MIT and they start thinking more earnestly about gravitational research in the experimental domain. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they're like, can we actually do this? Can we actually, the thing that Einstein like, said, we say that do. Einstein couldn't do. Can we actually do this? Okay. He comes up with this idea of the interferometer. Okay. Okay. Which is really what LIGO's um, design is today. The idea is you've got an you've got an L-shaped instrument where I have light moving in this direction and light moving perpendicular. It's the same setup that Michelson Morley used back in the late 1800s. That same thing. What if we just made it big? But Rainer Weiss's main contribution was with that paper in the 1970s and 80s was to figure out what are the types of noise that I'm going to run into mm -hmm. when I make an instrument of this scale and I want to measure something this precisely, mm -hmm. okay? And he came up with a list of all of the noise sources that they're going to have to deal with. There's going to be seismic noise, right. earthquakes. Yes. Even an earthquake that's on the other side of the world is going to create low-frequency vibrations on the earth. At the level that we're trying to measure. And that's going to create stuff. The waves from the ocean, that's going to create noise. Cars and trucks, people walking by, that's going to create noise. Elephants in the Sahara. <laughs> yeah. Like like all the stuff that you could think of, he created a list of all the stuff that, that we would have to come up with. And at the end, he had something called quantum noise. Okay. It comes in two forms. There's shot noise, which is, you know, the laser itself. I mean, at this rate, we're talking about photons hitting the mirror and the photons are going to hit the mirror at random arrival times. Yeah. So that's called shot noise. <laughs> Cause, because, because the difference the, of arrival time yeah, is the is difference noise. in arrival time in the photon is enough to cause the shot noise. Oh okay. God. That's the level that we're working at <laughs> with these mirrors. Yeah. These mirrors are like kilograms big and they're worried about like tiny photons mm -hmm. hitting it at random times. It's like, that's what we're complaining yes. about. The other um, limit is quantum back action, which is not only is the photon, coming at random times but when it hits and goes back it's going to transfer momentum yeah to the mirror and the mirror is going to wobble oh. because the photon has a reaction force right and because there's multiple points the reaction force is happening yeah. everywhere yeah and it's once. like it's like it's like so so that we can't control because the universe is like you're you're doing too much yeah buddy. yeah, yeah. That, you, you know, know this this is a uh, admin privileges yeah, this only is, yeah 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 exactly <laughs>